Up next on the Lion TV, Curtis Stevens has a story about our resource officer with what he does to keep us safe, as well as Marley Snow with some updates on our girls' volleyball team and their progress in preparing for their upcoming games. And me, Eric Coley, here to bring you all their weather updates. All that and more, Lion TV starts now. Good morning, Cersei. Welcome back to another episode of Flying TV. I'm Luke Pruitt. And I'm Brooklyn Shaver. We hope you had a good first half of your week. Now let's get into some student announcements. We are looking for about 12 or more students to work with the Lion TV crew during live streams, also to operate the video boards at the Arena and Lion Stadium. If you enjoy making video content, you like working with cameras, you're computer savvy, you enjoy st school sporting events such as football, volleyball, wrestling, soccer, and basketball, or you need the community service hours, contact Mr. Bowman by email at mbowman at CerseiSchools.org or use the QR code on the hallway TVs. Tomorrow, Johnstons will meet all, with all seniors during third period in the PAC. If you do not have classes on campus during third period, please make plans to attend. Johnstons will be discussing graduation supplies, so make sure you bring pen or pencil with you. Your in-school ordering day is Thursday, September 19th. If you have questions or will not be at school Thursday, please see Mr. Stewart in room 206. Arkansas Tech University Academic Scholarship is now available. Priority scholarship deadline is December 1st. Final deadline is February 1st. Last ACT and SAT scores accepted are from December's exams. Please see the Guidance Center for more information. You know, Luke, I walk these halls every day, and one person I see the most happens to be the resource officer. I'm glad that you mentioned that, because Curtis Stevens has a story over what our resource officer does around our school. With a school as large as Cersei High School keeping it and its students safe, it's a very large priority. That's why the school hired a resource officer to help with this task. My thing is I, I want to have the opportunity to give back to the community and to make sure that Cersei is a safe place to live. Cersei Public Schools has a memorandum of understanding that uh, puts an SRO at each of our campuses within the district. Officer DeWitt has a daily routine and a special aspect that makes him a perfect candidate for the job. I walk the campus. Uh, inside and out. I remind the kids always have your access cards to be able to get in the building. It's very important who we allow and when we allow people in and out of the building. I think that we've always had a pretty safe campus but he's obviously been a great asset to us. He's always visible, he's in the cafeteria, he's in the hallways. Being a resource officer means being brave in many scenarios but there is one scenario that he's afraid could happen. The idea that someone would come and try to harm my kids uh, that is that is a fear because the last thing I want to have to do is to take someone's life. Um, but at the same time, you come into my house, that I consider this my house, to hurt my kids. And so uh, I'm going to handle business like I'm supposed to. DeWitt has one of the most important jobs, ensuring the safety of SHS. So he tries his best every day to make the lives of those around him as safe as possible. I am very comfortable with Officer DeWitt ensuring our safety. Being visible is the number one thing. Uh, just that constant show of, you know, of being, being there, support. I would ask you, do you think it's safe when I'm around? That's, that's the question. That I think it's safe that, that I'm around. I'd just like to hang out with you guys just as much as anybody else and, and see what you guys are up to and hang out. Officer DeWitt's fun and outgoing personality makes him a great fit here at SHS. On the other hand, DeWitt knows when to take things seriously, which makes him a great fit for the job. Back to the news desk. Thank you, Curtis. It's good to know that someone will always be around here to take care of the students. I couldn't agree more, but for now, let's go see what's going on in Arkansas. Currently, associates at the distribution center here in Searcy work every day to take freight into the facility, stack it, load it, and then deliver the materials to Walmart stores around the country. Robotic stocking and loading is a change that makes things easier for associates at the Walmart stores. Previously, that was all done with manual labor, but now the center will switch to an automated system. The new way of doing things may make the job easier for associates, but some have been left wondering if robots in the facility will pose a threat to human jobs. A day after the 14-year-old was charged in a deadly shooting at his Georgia high school, the same panel gathered again Thursday to discuss safe gun storage po policies. 
The lawmakers are still talking about the issue because, like many state legislators across the U.S., have been unable to agree in recent years on whether new gun safety measures provide a solution to all too frequent occurrence of mass shootings at schools and public places. The Georgia school shooting marked the 30th mass killing in the U.S. so far this year. At least 127 people have died in all of the mass shootings that have happened this year. As a monument to human dignity, courage, and sacrifice, the 9-11 Memorial honors the nearly 3,000 people killed in the terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001. It recognizes the courage of those who survived, and it salutes those who risked their lives to help others. The 9-11 Memorial Museum serves as the country's principal institution for examining the attacks and documenting their continuing impact and significance. An event will be held exclusively for the 9-11 community, during which partner organizations are on hand to provide relevant information. On a lighter note, the weather has been kind of all over the place recently. I wonder what it will be like for the rest of the week. Well, I do know that Eric Crowley has a weather updates for us, so let's see what the weather will be like. Good morning, Sister High. Here's your weather updates. Today's going to be partly cloudy with an 89 as your high, rain at 15% chance, winds blowing east at 12 miles per hour, humidity at 54%, and your sun rose at 6:47 a.m. On to tonight. Tonight will be partly cloudy with a low of 66, rain at 80% chance, winds blowing north northeast at 9 miles per hour. Made at 80% and your sun will set at 7.18 p.m. On to the Almanac. Your last seven days average was a high of 94, a low of 52. Monthly average of precipitation is 3.83 inches and your month today is 0.22 inches. On to that five cast. Thursday will be rain with the high of 70, low of 63 and a 100% chance of rain. Friday will be rain again. 81 is your high, 61 is your low, and a 34% chance. Saturday will be mostly sunny with a high of 87, low of 64, and a 14% chance. Sunday will be, will be partly cloudy with the 88 as your high, 66 is your low, and a 13% chance. And on Monday, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 87, a low of 66, and a 24% chance of rain. Looks like we're going to have two rainy days, but three uncloudy days. Now sending it back to the news desk. Thank you for the weather updates, Eric. I'm glad to see things starting to change a bit, but all this talking is making me hungry. What's for lunch today, Luke? Today for lunch we'll be having chicken pasta alfredo, classic cheese pizza, classic cheeseburger, fajita marinated chicken, ham and Swiss cheese sub, fresh, fresh Fuji apple, and milk. That sounds amazing. Yeah. Be sure to thank all of our amazing lunch ladies for their hard work and dedication. I've been hearing lots about football recently, but I wonder what's going on with our own volleyball team. Well, I do know that Marley Snow has a story about how the team will be adapting to the new changes now. Marley? Lady Lions Volleyball has officially started their season. With many new changes and adjustments being made, they have managed to work hard and adapt to these conditions. My position in volleyball is a DS, and the main thing I really like about it is being able to get all the balls up off the floor. When I make a mistake, I definitely do get down on myself, but I've learned that mentality is a big thing and to not get down on myself. The main thing that made me want to start playing volleyball was probably my mom. She really wanted me to do it. And then like when she told me that, like I really just started and went on from there. When working with the team, it is very important to sustain a positive attitude, including body language. When one person gets down, it tends to create a pattern causing your peers to mimic that negativity. This year, our team's bond is very good, and I feel like we have good chemistry, and that all together just helps us as a team. I think one of my weaknesses in volleyball is my communication and my body language. I feel like if something's not going my way, then I, my resort is to just like have a bad attitude and just get quiet. After the seniors from last year graduating, these new changes can be hard to get used to. The girls have made the best chemistry over the summer with their new team by practicing every day of the week. My skills that I would like to improve would probably be like being able to communicate with my team more and realize that like you're going to mess up and just move on and not have a bad attitude about it. Teamwork is a big part in playing sports. You have to be able to work as a team and communicate to win and accomplish obstacles that get in your way. One thing I've learned about teamwork during volleyball is that it's very important and it keeps the energy good. And if the energy is bad, then it's just not going to work. My favorite part about volleyball seasons is definitely like our games and like especially our home games. Like I hope this year that we have a student section and like we can do themes. The skills that I'd like to improve on throughout my high school career would definitely be serve receive and just my mentality. 
I hope these girls continue to strive for greatness and make the best out of this year's season. Now back to the news desk. It should be an exciting season for our volleyball team this year, Luke. I'm sure it will be. Speaking of seasons, I wonder how our football team season is going so far. Well, let's head to Warren Kent for all of our sports updates for today. Good morning, Cersei. Let's get into this week's sports. The Lions football team had a game last Friday where they lost 28 to 49. They will be playing Harrison this Friday at our home field and we'll be having a pep rally beforehand. Be sure to come watch our game and support our players. We interviewed Coach Clark to get his thoughts on the team this year. Uh, no, we've got a good mix of uh, older guys that are experienced, a lot of returning starters, and then you know sprinkled in with, with some young guys that are extremely talented uh, and they're getting better every week. So I, you know, I look forward to our home opener and then you know kind of the rest of the season I think the future is bright. Our Lady Lions volleyball team had a game last Tuesday against Harding where they lost 1-3 and Thursday against Perigold losing 1-3. The golf team played El Dorado last Thursday and placed second with a score of 320. They have another game tomorrow at Hot Springs. The SHS tennis team is playing at Marion tomorrow and Cross Country has an invitational this Saturday with Harding. In national sports, the NFL Sunday football schedule started this week with a number of close games and tragic losses. Some of these games include the Patriots winning against the Bengals 16-10, the Colts losing to the Texans 27-29, and the Dolphins winning their game against the Jaguars 20-17. In other news, the WNBA is gearing up for the greatly anticipated playoffs coming up at the near end of September. Teams such as Minnesota and Connecticut are suspected to take home the crown this year because of the impl impressive display during the regular season. Well, that's all for sports. Let's send it back to Luke in Brooklyn at the news desk. Thanks for all the updates, Warren. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for you today, Cersei. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Cersei High Lion TV. And to follow us on X at Lion TV, Instagram at Cersei Lion TV, and on Facebook at Cersei High Lion TV. Signing off, I'm Luke Pruitt. And I'm Brooklyn Shaver. Remember to honor and commemorate the sacrifices made on September 11, 2001 by remembering the heroes, armed forces, first responders, and the countless others who made sacrifices. We will leave you with footage of the aftermath of the attack from that day.